Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just joking. Welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vista Comet SR, which is just released with Doomsday Host DLC. Now, this vehicle is another drip feed vehicle. I don't know if we've got many more after this. This might possibly be the last vehicle in this DLC, uh, which may on the horizon mean that we've got a new DLC coming. So, as you can see, this vehicle is very, very similar to the original Comet that we've got in the game, but it is one million dollars more expensive so uh, whether it's going to be worth that extra one million dollars is yet to be seen um, i'm not sure about the customization on it i don't know if it's got much in the way of customization but i do know it is now second around the track um, in the sports category according to bruffy i did check out his video just shortly before i started making this one and yeah it comes second in the uh, sports category around the track and that is just behind the pariah but just in front of the elegy so without any further ado guys, let's get into LS Customs with this vehicle. It's going to cost you $1.145 million, so it's very, very expensive. And we're just going to see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Fist of Comet SR is in the sports category. Now as always guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go through the brakes, we're going to get race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. We've only got three additional options. So we've got the primary split, which is exactly the same. It's just obviously changing it to the primary color. And then we've got the secondary, so it's again the same, but it's going to be take or it's going to take on the secondary colour. And then we've got this um, competition splitter, which I don't know if I'm a fan of. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not really a fan of these um, splitters that stick out so far. Um, I think they kind of look a bit strange, especially on cars like this. Yeah, I, th I think keeping it clean is is probably the best way to go. And uh, I'm also in favour of going with a primary splitter so it stays all one colour. So next we've got the rear bumper and again we've only got two additional options. So it's not even as many as the fucking front bumper which is ridiculous really. The amount of money you're spending on this vehicle you expect a little bit more customization, in my opinion anyway. So again you've got the primary and then you've got the secondary. Obviously that's obviously going to take on the secondary the cut, the secondary colour. But um, because we went primary on the front bumper we're also going to go primary for the rear bumper. Next we've got the chassis, as you can see we've got a roll cage already installed from stock which is pretty cool. So as you can see we've got the stock chassis, then we've got the primary intake just on the side and then again you've got the secondary. Um, again I'm going to go with the primary because it's going to roll nicely with the front and the rear bumper. Then we've got the engine, you want to get the level 4 engine upgrade, then we've got the exhausts. So we've got 4 additional options for the exhaust which are pretty good but the stock exhaust man they look beefy as fuck, they're pretty cool as they are. So then you've got the twins, you also got the angled dual exhausts, uh, the ovals, they look a bit funky, I'm not sure about them. And then you've got these awesome looking titanium tipped exhausts, they look fucking sweet man, we'll go, go with them. So next we've got the fenders, only one option for the fenders, and this is this extension arches, um, or extended arches sorry, and uh, in my opinion man, that looks a bit weird, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan. I think it looks a bit funky. I think it looks better with stock, so I'm gonna leave it with the stock fender. So then we're gonna move on to the hood. Only two options for the hood. And they're just color changes, man. No actual visual changes other than the color, which is a shame. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna say stock for the hood. Then we're gonna to go to the lights. We're gonna go into headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So next we're gonna to go to the respray. We're gonna go primary color and into metallic because I'm gonna have this all one color. I'm not gonna fuck about with a primary and a secondary color. Um, well obviously I'm going to have to choose them but uh, it's all going to be the same colour white actually looks really good as it is um, but obviously I'll, I'll go with something a little bit different this purple man, bright purple looks really really good I actually really like the bright purple so I'm going to grab bright purple I'm also going to go into the pearl lesson and make sure that is um, a light blue I think the ultra blue is going to be a better option for that though look at that, that looks fucking sweet as hell so we're going to go uh, bright purple and then ultra blue for the pearlescent. So then we're going to go to the secondary colour. We're also going to go to metallic and then go to bright purple. Not sure what it changes though at the moment. Oh, at the moment, as you can see on the spoiler, it is changing them side panels. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to grab purple for now. So then we're going to move on to the roof. As you can see, we've got this horrible, horrible carbon roof going on. So we are going to primary colour it up with the primary roof. Then we're going to move on to the side skirts. As you can see, we've got this rank carbon side skirt. It looks fucking horrible. I don't know why it is there as stock. It's weird as fuck. Uh, the primary looks 10 times That's better. Right and there. we've also got a competition which is going to go with 
obviously the comp competition front bumper, but we've not got that installed. So we're just gonna go with the primary skirt. So now we're gonna move to the spoiler. Loads of options for the spoiler, which is, you know, surprising. And we do get a, a stock spoiler, but is as, you know, as stock, like the title says, but we do also get an option to remove it altogether, which I'm actually in favor of doing. I think that actually looks really good because you've got like a little lip spoiler as it is. And I believe this car is affected by downforce. So you don't need the spoiler for that added traction bonus because it's, like I said, got downforce, so you don't get that added traction. And um, I think the none option is, like I said, is the best because you, you do kind of get a, a lip spoiler on the rear anyway. So it's not like it's, it's taken away the spoiler altogether. And I think um, all these spoilers are pretty cool. You know, if you're going for that competition, race car look then yeah these would be good options but for me and um, what i want i'm going to go with none so then we've got the suspension we're going to get the sport suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning now for the wheels guys uh, the wheels we've got a stock are pretty crap so i am going to change them we're going to go into i think i'm going to go with the suv because you get quite a nice rim on there i'm going to go with the chrome and because i've gone into the suv i don't think i'm going to go for anything too sporty I think they look pretty good. The Cosmos look nice, but these ones look the best. They're called Lodge Speed Baller. I'm going to purchase them for 77 grand. Well, so here, guys, you might as well go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go, my dudes. There is my build on the brand new Comet SR, which just released into the game. And like I said, I've gone for something a little bit different. It's not going to be like the sporty versions of it, like you'd see everybody else building. Uh, I've gone with for quite a clean cut look. I think it actually come out really, really nice. It looks very, very similar to the original Comet, which is in the game. Um, but performance-wise, it, you know, it feels a lot better. Like I said, it's second around the track in the sports category, so it just shows you or tells you how quick it is around the track against every other sports car in the game. Coming just behind the Pariah by about a second, I think it was, and um, the Pariah is the second fastest car in the game. So uh, it gives you some sort of indication of how good this car is going to be. And uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that the customization there isn't really there at all. It's pretty shit in customization terms. You can't really do much to it. But it's quite a nice looking car anyway, so I won't worry too much about that. Uh, the price tag, 1.1 million, is also a lot of fucking money. And um, I, don't, I don't know whether you, whether I'd want to save up my money or grind missions and heists to, to be able to purchase this. It is very nice looking, but like I said, it's very too, it's too similar to the original comment that's already in the game. Um, obviously, it's a lot quicker than the one we've already got, but is it worth, you know, a million dollars more than the original comment? I don't think so. Um, but like I said, that's just my opinion. That's my video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.